Hi, folks, Chris Voss here from thechrisvossshow.com, thechrisvossshow.com. Here are blog posts we want to share with you. Of course, we view the latest in social media and technology. This is uh, one of the newest, latest, uh, greatest phones, if you will, from t-mobile.com. That's t-mobile.com. Be sure to subscribe to all of our updates and everything, as we have all the major phone carriers, including them, sending us all the latest, coolest phones. And we're reviewing and, of course, comparing with other phones that are the latest and greatest on the market. So be sure to tune in to our channels for that. This here is the HTC 8X. The HTC 8X, it's a Windows phone. And uh, it's one of the newest that comes out with Windows 8 on it. And uh, the latest version of Windows, if you will, for mobile. Uh, so uh, the HTC, this is their line. You can see, of course, it has Beats Audio up here on the top. Uh, you've got a front-facing camera here. You've got a speaker for your calls here. You've got a back button, a home button, and a search button that's there. And uh, let's take a look at what goes into this phone. Now, uh, this phone is, uh, like we mentioned, a Windows 8 phone. Its height is 5.21 in uh, height, 2.61 in width, 0 0.40 in thickness. It's a nice, thin, beautiful little phone that feels really, really good in your hands. It's got a weight of 4.59 ounces, so it's pretty light. And it's got a uh, actual size of 4.30 display screen. Uh, the resolution is 720 by 1280 pixels, and it's got 342 PPI. That's a pretty good PPI for a mobile phone. Uh, the technology on it has got 16.7 million colors on the screen, capacitive multi-touch. Um, on battery talk time, it's got 11.3 hours. Standby time is 12.1 days. And it's got an 1,800 milliamp battery. And when you see how thin this is, you're going to be surprised at uh, how they're able to pack that into this device because it's pretty thin for an 1,800 milliamp battery. Um, <clears throat> it's got a Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Plus in it. Dual core processor, 1.5 gigahertz Kraut or Crate. I'm not sure how to pronounce that correctly. Uh, it's got uh, 1,024 megabytes of RAM, 16 gigabytes of built-in storage. The back camera is an 8 megapixel camera, and it'll of course do 1080p HD, 30 frames per second, and video calling. Um, and it's got on the front a massive 2 megapixel camera, so that's pretty good. A lot of Android phones and, and other phones that are on the market uh, have less than that, so 2 megapixels at the front makes it a good calling phone. So let's talk about some other features of the phone. Uh, you can see here it's got much of the same sort of stuff that we saw in the original versions of Windows 8. Now it has live tiles where the different tiles can take and move and uh, photos can be introduced and played through it. You can see here the layout of the menu. Um, it's pretty much got what they used to call the Metro style, and I forget what they call it now, but it's basically a style of these boxes and presentation and everything else. Um, and uh, it, seems, uh, it seems fairly speedy. Now, the one thing I do notice, it's not quite as fast as the Lumia 920. Uh, there's a distinct difference in the speed there, but it's, uh, it's fairly fast, I'd say. Um, comparatively, if I didn't know any better, it's a fast little phone. Let's put it that way. Um, and you'll see the comparisons that we'll do with the phone uh, on our thing. Now, the App Store, of course, one of the challenges that the Windows phone is, is into is trying to get enough apps on the App Store. Uh, and, of course, the, the feel of the the new Windows 8 is much this is about the same as the feel of the uh, Windows so was it 7.0 and 7.5 and I think there's a 7.78 7, uh, or something. Um, so uh, the feel is good there. And you've got the App Store with all these different things you have there. Biggest challenge is how many apps are on the App Store. Uh, we were trying to find some different benchmarking things that we could take and utilize, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's got a beautiful look to it. It comes in multi in multitude of different colors. You can go to tmobile.com's website or t-mobile.com's website. Um, the color. Uh, has a good feel to it. It looks good. It it uh, represents itself well. I do like the beauty of the screen. How it's the smooth, that kind of angst black, if you will. So that makes it look good. Now, of course, when you swipe to the left here, you have access to all your different apps, if you will, and uh, you can page through them. And of course, you can do different programming to put them into these live tiles, if you will. You can do that. And now you've got your back button, your home button, your search. You can also Open Netflix app. Searching for cereal. Well, that's not going to work, is it? 
Open Netflix app. Starting Netflix. So you can see you have access to a voice command system where you can do different things. We found that video on it um, wasn't too impressive, especially when watching really high HD sort of shows and everything else. Um, and uh, it, it, it was okay, but some of the really high intense uh, quality shows that are out there now, um, you know, we, uh, we'll show you some examples here in a little bit. Um, and uh, but let's take a look at some of the benchmarking and stuff that we could find with apps to take a look at the speed of it. Okay, so here we're using a benchmarking app that comes with Windows, um, and uh, we came and this is of course a test we're running uh, of the network for T-Mobile. We came up with 10.32. Megabits, megabits per second uh, on download and on upload we did 0 0.40 megabits per second so uh, there you go okay this is uh, called the multi bench test app that we found and uh, this uh, gives us some benchmark results you can of course compare these at home uh, this came in at uh, the CPU bench score was 18.147 data transfer bench score was 25.056 and memory bench score point let's see I guess that would be 02.631 or 613 okay this is another app called my speed test and you can see some history that we've taken down we've done about three different tests of their uh, with using their app of the T-Mobile network uh, looks like we came in uh, at 312 milliseconds uh, looks like there's some variance there, uh, and 6.62 megabytes per second in download, uh, and 7.26 and 6.23 uh, megabytes in download and upload, 2.66, 0.45, and 1 megabytes per second. I don't know if we've got a really good signal here, um, but those are some of the tests that we did with my speed test. All right, so let's look at the back of the device. On the back of the device, we have the camera eye, we have the flash lamp, we have the HTC logo, and of course, with HTC, all their phones have Beats Audio on them because they own a portion of that. Uh, you can see here below the T-Mobile logo is a big old uh, speaker, and of course, the Beats Audio, I really like the Beats Audio. It definitely does make a wonderful enhancement to the sound quality of uh, the sound. You know, once you plug in your earphone jack, it will activate, and uh, of course, you can turn it off also if you do not like it or prefer it. Um, down the side of the device we have a place for your SIM card, we have a place for your uh, volume rocker button up and down, and then we have a camera shutter button down here on the uh, right hand side of the foam. Uh, swooping back the other way you can see it has a nice beveled curved edges to it which make it very comfortable and easy to hold. Um, uh, nothing down here on the left hand side Across the top, we have a uh, power button right here, very thin, very small, a small microphone hole, an earphone jack. Uh, down the bottom of the device, we, of course, have a charging sink uh, plug and a uh, small microphone. It's, good. it's a nice, thin phone if you really look at it. It's very, very thin, and uh, it feels good in the hands that way. Okay, even hooked up to a Wi-Fi, um, watching uh, Netflix... Uh, uh, you know, we notice the screen isn't as clear. Uh, we notice a lot of breakup of pixels. Uh, it's an okay phone for watching a movie on if you really had to. Uh, not really impressed with the movie quality skills. Uh, games are fine, uh, but heavy, high definition movies such as uh, Transformers here. Um, definitely, you could tell a difference when looking at the screen, uh, even in high traffic Wi Fi uh, sort of feeds. Um, the screen doesn't present as well and uh, good as like high definition you would expect with maybe other more expensive phones but it does the job I mean it can't be all bad uh, especially for the price you're paying to get into these phones um, so um, that's pretty much it when it comes to the video experience the colors are good okay so the camera that's on the uh, HTC is pretty it, it's pretty good it does a good job uh, it does a good job with video and well-lit situations it does a good job with photos and well-lit situations uh, in the dark with flash not as impressed with it and same thing with video in fact I'm kind of disappointed on the video in dark environments but hey you mostly shoot in well-lit environments so that's what's important uh, 
So let's take a look at some of the menus here. We've got a button, of course, that will take us to the portfolio area. Um, you almost kind of have to really hit and miss, learn the hard way with some of these buttons. But uh, for the most part, you can switch between um, your camera and your camcorder uh, eye here. Uh, you've got uh, different thing, things you can put in. Uh, you've got your flash. Uh, you've got your front and back camera. You've got some menu items, I believe, right here. Um, I, I've really struggled with the... Uh, to, to, to just master the basics on this camera. Um, if you press the wrong button, you go into completely different areas, and and uh, it's taken me a while to really get it down. Um, it's just not very intuitive, and that's important in in products. Um, so you can switch between photo and video. Um, one of the problems is too is if you push the wrong button, it will take a picture. It will activate the video. You also have your camera button push here. Um, you know, obviously, if you're buying one of these, you're probably not buying it for the camera, but it will do a good camera job. Um, it's a good little phone, but uh, uh, definitely, uh, you know, if if camera is important to you, um, you may want to look at a higher quality camera phone. Uh, so you can kind of see basics of what you know what you can do. You can adjust everything, of course. Um, uh, here's some dark uh, video that we're really not impressed with. This is shot in the blackness of of a room. Um, and it really had problems. We had to take a couple times just to get it to focus. Uh, the problem is you press the screen to try and get a focus, like you can with other cameras, it just stops the video, uh, which is really irritating. Um, it really had a hard time. Uh, you can see here we've got a well-lit, of course, outside photo shot that we've taken and doing with video, um, and uh, it comes out pretty good for the colors. comes out pretty good. Uh, not too bad. Uh, dealt well with, pretty well with the sun uh, blasting into it, uh, so it did okay. I mean, it did. A, it, I'd say it's a good camera, an okay, good cameras, somewhere in there. Um, so let's take a look at some other things that we have. Uh, here's uh, some shots outside. Uh, good, good shots. Uh, okay, you know, uh, nothing spectacular. I write home to mom about, but definitely the shots are clean. They look good. Um, they're well shot. Uh, it's definitely an 8 megapixel camera, so you've got that, and you're going to get good shots. Uh, are you going to get great shots that maybe you might be used to with some more expensive cameras? No, but then you have to spend a whole lot more money. Um, you can just see some of the shots that we took here. Now, this one shot was in a completely in the dark shot, um, where we were totally uh, in a dark environment, and the flash had to find itself. Not really impressed at how much it picked up in the image or the quality of the color. Um, but, you know, like I said, it's a good little phone. Um, I just probably wouldn't buy it for the camera. Okay, so all in all, there you have it. It's a nice little phone by T-Mobile.com. That's T-Mobile.com. It's nice and thin. It's got the wonderful speed that you have of the HTC uh, product and, of course, the Windows 8 with it. Be sure to go to T-Mobile.com. Check out the uh, HTC 8X with the newest and latest, greatest Windows 8 on it. Uh, tell them Chris Voss sent you. Be sure to subscribe to all the different uh, things on the Chris Voss Show, uh, our channel on YouTube, and the blog posts on the Chris Voss Show dot com. And uh, tell them Chris Voss sent you. Chris Voss tested. Chris Voss approved. Be sure to check in often as we review all the latest and greatest phones. And thanks to T Mobile for sharing the phones with us.